Kai Ima. Come on up, Kai. Yeah, yeah. Here you are. Thank you. Of course. <clears throat> How's everybody doing today? Good. Yeah. I'm so happy to be here. My name's Kyle, uh, Kai Ima. For those of you that don't know me, I represent Hive, social media platform on Web3, and Nomad, the Web3 freelance collective. So this afternoon, I'll be talking to you about private interests versus public interest uh, within Web3. So before I get into that, I just want to explain to you, you know, where I come from, what I've been doing. Um, I began in 2017 exploring Web3 via social media. I'm a photographer, and that's my passion and vocation. Uh, I learned some things. I thought I earned some things, but um, the biggest idea that I took away when I started that year, I'll get to in a moment. But for now, I'd like to ask you a couple questions. How many of you create content? Raise your hands. Now, keep your hands raised if you've made any money off of that content. I saw some hands go down. So what I'm trying to highlight basically is that it's not easy. In a lot of cases, it's impossible. Um, check this. Did you guys know that only 3% of creators on YouTube generate 97% of the platform's earnings? It's staggering. And the issue with that is the fact that it's simply not easy, especially on these platforms, despite the fact that these platforms are only viable, popular, and monetizable because of us, the users. So in short, Web2 platforms have been overexploiting, I would say. The idea I took away in 2017, social media sucks. <laughs> so, why does it suck, Kyle? In short, monetization is terrible. Nobody's immune to getting deplatformed, whether that means you're shadow banned or you've been uh, demonetized or straight up suspended, right? And so, my issue with that is, Web3 doesn't allow any of that, right? Web3 is the solution, I think. But before I get into how it's a solution, let's talk about some cases where Web2 has just done people dirty. So, how many here people, how many people here, excuse me, or know who Feroza Aziz is? None? Oh, nice, shout out. So, Feroza Aziz is a young Muslim woman who shared her content on TikTok and was consequently suspended from the platform. Why exactly? She was bringing light to uh, human rights issues in Zhejiang, China, um, concerning the internment of Uyghur Muslims. And so, being who she is, she thought it was worth sharing, bringing it to light, and TikTok was not having any of that. And so TikTok came forward with some comments that, okay, that's not why we platformed, deplatformed her, excuse us, um, that's not the issue. But I know, in fact, that it is. Consequently, she didn't have a platform, or she had it reinstated after everything hit the fan. More people were aware of her story, the situation in China as well, and there were, we'll say, outcry for the issue. But let me point out another case. Not just TikTok, right? Who here knows who Ford Fisher is? Nobody? Ford Fisher is an American freelance journalist who's got his own platform, um, hires news reporters, and talks about emerging stories. One thing he's quite notable for is recording the January 6, 2021 rally um, held by former President Donald Trump and everything that followed after. Not quite the attack on the Capitol, but the rally and the fervor following. So all he did was attend, record, and share those proceedings on YouTube. And curiously enough, it was monetized on January 8th. It was even picked up and licensed by the BBC for a documentary about everything that happened. But later on in January, the video was taken down. His content, demonetized. Um, the main issue there YouTube tried to cite was that he was spreading misinformation. <laughs> I don't know if that gets to you guys, but to me, it's unacceptable. 
Basically, he took restore, historic footage, recordings of a real event, and shared it, and was told he was actually spreading misinformation. It's unacceptable. His content demonetized the whole shebang. He was even shadow banned on Twitter, as a matter of fact. And what that entails is that it was more difficult for him to be found in searches. Long story short, Web2 does not have the public interest in mind. As a matter of fact, it's the exact opposite. It's private interest. I'm sorry to say that I don't really have a solution, as a matter of fact. But I would say that if you'd like to talk about it, you can always find me after. Thank you. Thank you, Kai.